Hi, I'm Dr. Vivek Murthy. On December 15, 2014, when I began my tenure as Surgeon General, I didn't expect that my focus as the nation's doctor would involve the issue of loneliness. And yet, as I would discover, loneliness is a root cause and contributor to many of the epidemics sweeping the world today, from alcohol and drug addiction, to violence, to depression and anxiety. Loneliness is affecting not only our health, but also how our children experience school, how we perform in the workplace, and the sense of division and polarization in our society. I found few issues elicited as much visceral interest from both very conservative and very liberal members of Congress, from young and old people, and from urban and rural residents alike, as loneliness did. It was something so many people have known themselves or have seen in the people around them. It's a universal condition that affects all of us directly or through the people we love, especially now more than ever. The good news is that the antidote to loneliness, human connection, is also a universal condition. We have evolved to participate in community, to forge lasting bonds with others, to help one another, and to share life experiences. In fact, we are hardwired for connection. As we demonstrate every time we come together around a common purpose or crisis, such was the collective action of the Parkland High School students in South Florida after the 2018 mass shooting at their school, which claimed 17 lives. We also see this instinct in the outpouring of aid and assistance by volunteers that follows major hurricanes, tornadoes, and earthquakes around the globe. Our community instincts remain alive and well. When we share a common purpose, when we feel a common urgency, when we hear a call for help that we were able to answer, most of us will step up and come together. In this series of videos, I'll investigate questions such as, what has led to such high levels of loneliness? How can we overcome the stigma of loneliness and accept that all of us are vulnerable? How can we create stronger, more enduring, and more compassionate connections in our communities? How do we shift the balance of our lives from being driven by fear to being fueled by love? My hope is that what you are about to hear will deepen your awareness of your own place in our social universe and also inspire and encourage you to reach out to those around you with a renewed sense of the vital role we all play in one another's lives. As you'll see, when we strengthen our connection with one another, we are healthier, more resilient, more productive, more vibrantly creative, and more fulfilled.